Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg, and today we're taking a look at the Rhino Shield Play Proof case for the iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 6S Plus. This case comes in a bunch of different colors. You can choose from black, blue, pink, red, and white, and each is on sale over on Amazon.com for $24.99. So if you're not familiar with Rhino Shield, they are a company that first made a bumper style case with unbelievable drop protection. If you've not seen David Pogue, uh, former editor of the New York Times and now with Yahoo's video on the Rhino Shield bumper, you definitely should, and I'll try to put a link to that in the video description. However, he drop tests the heck out of it, um, I believe from as much as like 15 feet up in the air and the case works and the screen on the phone never shatters, which is pretty cool. So this is the play proof, which is Rhino Shield's take on a full body case with the same 11.5 feet of drop and impact protection. So I'll open it up and show you all about the case. There is really nothing in the packaging other than the case itself. I do have the black version right here. So it's made from a matte material which kind of resembles TPU. The inside um, is coated with this honeycomb pattern and that's where all of the magic happens. In a drop, this honeycomb pattern is meant to sh absorb and disperse the impact and shock from said drop. So I'm going to pop my iPhone 6s Plus in here starting with the top portion of the phone first, kind of wedging it in and then going down to the corners and kind of doing the same down there like so, and voila, it's fully installed. So there is a good amount of lay on the table protection with this. This lip comes up higher than the screen, even with a tempered glass screen protector installed. When I put my phone screen side down, I can definitely feel that play or resistance of the lip of the case hitting the surface, not the screen of my phone. On the back, there is a cutout for the camera, secondary mic, and the flash. It is wide enough that there is no obstructions or anything like that. And then no other branding at all on the back of the case. It's nice and clean and nice and simple. There are buttons built into the case. You can see there's a little bit of kind of two-tone color action with a darker, darker grayish black hair with the buttons versus the all black on the sides. These buttons give nice tactile feedback with when pressed. Same goes for that sleep-awake button, which also gives you good feedback. The cutout for the mute switch is small, but big enough that you can get your finger in there no problem to turn that switch on and off. On the bottom, there's a cutout for the speaker, the lightning port, and the headset jack and mic. I do want to point out that the lightning port cutout is bigger on the playproof case than it is for the bumper. Uh, the reason I don't use the bumper, although I love it, is the fact that some of my third-party chargers will not fit, and it won't even work on my Belkin Valet dock. This case, however, does. So it does work with the dock and third-party cables can fit in as well. So they did widen the cutout a little bit there on the case. The small amount of branding that there is on this case is on the right-hand side right here. You can see the Rhino Shield logo right there. It's kind of embossed and I don't even notice it's there at all. So I really like this case for its simplicity and I know that I feel comfortable with it because of its almost 12 feet of drop and impact protection as well. With five colors to choose from, I highly recommend you checking it out if you're someone that's looking for a simple case and you're someone that drops your phone a lot. So you can learn more about the Rhino Shield Playproof case via the link I'll have in the video description. Again, it comes in five colors and it sells for $24.99. As always, if you have any questions about this case or anything else, drop me a comment down below. Otherwise, have a great day.